right? I think that's good. We're still on the tutorial. Improve minion by using a brain. Uh, minions have blah. Leveling a minion improves their abilities. Using a part uh, higher quality gives a minion higher stance. Yeah. Uh, can improve minions with different additional features. A brain can instantly give a minion several levels. Well, okay, so I do need to unlock that. Uh, replace the item. Item will be lost. Yeah, sure. I probably should have like leveled up a different minion, but whatever. All right, so you deal crazy crit damage. A crit deals 250. Um, this increases status. That accuracy. Yeah. Okay. I keep I keep turning on and back off this heater because I'm chilly. Who's sneezing over here? Hey, bud. You got a sneezing kitty cat over here. Yeah, you. Is that you? You're the sneezy boy, right? Holy. What is he doing? Oh, my goodness. These cats are so sweet. Yeah, meow. All right, I have no idea what I want to do here. Why is this not something I can manipulate? Yes, I know, you're a cat. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, why can't I click on this one? Hmm. That's enough. Damn you, kitty. Um. Yeah, that's weird. Um, I'm gonna go to you. Okay. Oh, can I just not change any of these? Oh, I wonder if it's forcing me to wait until late game in order to level that up. That might be what it is. Okay. So, I can start kind of building towards a specific type of party. I think I took a boon that gives me increased physical damage. Yeah, so maybe I should look to that a little more. To the dungeon. Ta talents? Okay, we'll go... So, we're not going to go magic. Uh, Alchemy saying... Okay, I need a couple talent points for that. Replace parts. That sounds like something that should be extremely necessary. Um, I can't. I can't access the graveyard yet or the humanorium. Talents. Artifacts. I still have zero of those. Alchemy. I can create a zombie if I really wanted to. Armor on whom? Ectoplasm. Oh, oh, no, this is like my materials in general for building. Okay, I gotcha. Creation. So I've got a level 4, 2, 2, 2, 1. So I could have just given you the brain, I think. That might have been more worth it. That's okay, though. Um, accuracy or luck? I mean... Okay, chest piercer. Physical attack deals damage. A crit steal 200%. If I go this way, crit steal more. If I go this way, I have more crit chance, but it stuns the target. What's your natural crit chance? 12? Hmm. Crits deal more or more crits and then also stun? I think we go for the stun. Serve me well, my um, And, wait, this is... Yeah, this is her ultimate. 
heal 80. Okay, so that just increases the damage of the alt. That's probably what I'd go for. I mean, I guess we go for something crit heavy, yeah? And this is crit. Oh, that's a stress attack, though. And what is this? Stress attack deals damage. I mean... Increases target's chance to escape by 10% for two actions. Interesting. Oh, it moves them back, moves me back. That's right. What's that? Evasion. Okay. Stress attack. Uh, mm, I mean, this is just more more flat damage. This one looks pretty okay. I've got two more abilities to upgrade here, so... Uh, okay, yeah. I mean, let's just go right down the line for now. I'm, eh, I kind of like the... And then I contradict myself immediately. Um, stress attack. I don't... Increase the chance to escape. Interrupts stances. Target is unable to move during their next turn. I don't know if I like that. Actually, I think... Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll do... Is there any other crit synergy here? No? Um, okay. Flames of Love. Is the magic damage? Attack, dread, curse, evasion. Shows uh, stress attacks. Okay. So this deals... That deals magic damage, sets him on fire, uh, dealing 30% damage per turn. Um, that's like good damage, and it's magic damage. I don't know how useful that's going to be, though. And then if I switch, if I go to here, hmm. we get... Am I in the mood for terror or lethality today? Uh, three turns. Oh, yeah, it just changes it to three turns if I go that way. This, two turns, dealing 35%. Increase the damage, but oh, increases the base damage too. Yeah. Wait, why would I pick this? Um, three turns dealing like that's that's more damage, I guess. Wait, deal sixty percent, deal seventy five percent. So that increases it by fifteen. So this has got fifteen, and then an extra ten. So that's twenty five percent damage over time, and this is. Um. 30% but it takes an extra turn but then also this increases my damage by 3 now, so yeah we just do that I didn't even look at these but I don't know they'll get to it um alright uh, stress attack man this is a lot to process stress attack deals damage move to a random position uh, remove all buffs or target loses evasion for three turns. Eh. Um, what do you, what do you need as a banshee? Whenever the enemy moves, uh, deal damage. Wait. Uh, ignores ward. Okay. Banshee gains one block and one ward while in this stance. Interesting. That's interesting. kind of like that actually 15 health give her a little bit more survivability uh, I've only got one point to put into her though restores uh, sanity gain mana equal to 30 percent oh this changes it to wrath okay so that makes ultimate abilities this makes it radis abilities um, restore the target to full sanity and 30 percent Meh. I mean, this gives her a ward or... Uh, meh. Buff all minions for 8 dread, 10 dread, or... Uh, buff all minions for 5 attack and dread for the next action. Huh. I mean, that's kind of more of a roundabout way to do it, but I think she wants the dread, so it's probably better to do that. Dread and dread. Make her more dread-focused. Uh, I do use this a bit. So, six attack, and she gets some crit, or 
four attack and four evasion, and she gets she gets evasion herself. And we lose this four attack and four evasion doesn't stack. Huh. Um. Do I want her to have crit chance? She's got eight. Stress attack on all. Six attack on their next action. That's a much more defensive, but then also, I guess these are both kind of like more defensive-ish. Like they have their own pluses. Oh yeah. This is nice. This is a nice like, which way do you want to go with this kind of thing? So this is more defensive in that it reduces their attack more. This is more defenses, more defensive in that it in, re increases her evasion. Um, do I want to reduce their evasion or do I want to reduce their attack and increase my luck? Mm, man, that's a tough call. Um, I I guess it depends on how much I have a problem with accuracy, and I don't think that's a very big problem, so I think we can do that. Um, but is something better here, and I think this might be better. Uh, gains one block and one ward in this stance, or just increase their damage. Yeah, let's just do that. Screw it. Why not? Why not? Okay. Couple more. Uh, ignores armor, doesn't miss. Okay, these both ignore armor. That's really good. Ignores block. Mm. Doesn't miss and improves accuracy is kind of redundant. I think it's this. Um, and it also gets him a little more armor too cause like this makes him more accurate but he's kind of a tanky boy so I don't think it's super relevant yeah let's just do that I, I, I could have read through more but I'm, I'm kind of getting ready to scoot through this a little quicker okay physical attack uh, deals damage equal to 75% of the sum, that's pretty good. Deals damage equal to fifty percent. Oh, deals additional based on his defenses. Okay. So this just increases the base. No, okay. So this is just better, I think. Uh, how dare stress attack? Increase the dread on it. Deals. Well, a lot more dread damage. That's pretty good. I I think we can swing into a dread party at this point. A dread? Yeah, dread party. Uh, deals more damage for each buff or debuff. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I mean, just increase the base damage on it. Yeah. Let's just do that. And... All right. Uh, we leveled up all of our minions. That looks a lot better. Uh, Skelly Boy, I might switch you out for the Wraith here. Get you a little health. Uh, and the Wraith, you're not going to be doing anything crazy, I don't think. What position do you like to be in? Um, second. I guess it just kind of depends. But if you're in the front line, you're going to be dealing magic damage. What's your health? 80? Okay, we'll leave you out right now, and that'll be good. Uh, open up the map. Just click on that, because I said so. Ooh, restores mana to Aratus or Vigor to minions. Oh, okay, never mind. We'll do this then. All your minions recover to full Vigor. Cool. Uh, do I want that Skelly in the party still, though? I think so. Just hold on to the wraith for a minute. Contains, what is it, steel? Is that how it's pronounced? Contains the records of past battles, which can be used to raise the level of minions. 
or Iratus himself. Interesting. So that's just a... Um, text message. Check the mailbox. Okay. I will do that eventually. Uh, restores mana and vigor. Looks like we got that both ways, but this is just free experience, right? So I want to go this way. Quest. An event requiring participation of Aratus himself or the current battle group. Interesting. Uh, we can go this way. Elite squad. Ooh. Yeah, I think we just go up this way. And can I, like... Yeah, I don't know. Let's just go here. So, we're going to be focusing a little bit more on stress dealing, I suppose. This is kind of nice, though. I like this, being able to move enemies. Um, removes all buffs. Stress attack. Um... I don't really have any way of ensuring that they get buffs, so I'm just gonna... And the Bride! Uh, stress attack. out of his stance. Stress attack. Uh, when the enemy moves, I think we just soprano. Cool. Ch high chance to attack an ally seems pretty okay. Um, physical attack. Ignores armor and block. I don't think I care for that right now. I should have been thinking about what I really wanted before I leveled up all my minions, but I'm not going to be too worried about it. Uh, we'll just trigger that. All right. Okay. Uh, stress tech. I almost want to leave you alive just because you're going to be attacking your allies so much. Stress attack, buff. Um, nah, let's just do this. Over my undead body. Yeah. Did anybody attack him this turn? I don't think so. Uh, stance. Yeah, I think we'll just we'll just do this again. Seems pretty okay. 8 armor, 10 resist, stress attack. Um, he doesn't have any debuffs. I think we can just go for this again. Good stuff. Increased damage dealt. Damage received is increased by 50%. Cool. I mean, yeah, I think I just keep spamming this. Stress attack deals some to a specific target. So I could do like the whole movement stuff if I set her up in the stance. And yeah. We'll just do this though. Stress attack. I don't really think you're going to attack me, so let's just try and get rid of this guy. <laughs> Whenever an enemy moves. I mean, let's, let's give it a shot this turn. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, and it moves her back. I didn't realize that. Dark Knight. Uh, doesn't have any way of moving enemies. Get some single target. Ooh, that sucks. His accuracy is stupid low. Oh, he was debuffed. Makes sense. Um, physical attack. Oh, if he's in slot two, he's a little better off, huh? We're managing this okay. Uh, and I can move somebody back if I do this. Uh, so that, I think this will be a good chunk to do on you. Move you back. Move her back. And she gained... Oh, oh, she only gained that for this turn, though. That might be okay, though. Um, yeah, let's just keep that up. I think that was pretty okay. Uh, that stress attack failing was pretty shitty, but whatevs. Cool. Okay, fucked up his debuff there. Uh, stress attack to everybody. Sounds pretty okay. He attacked his buddy? I'm not... Oh, I moved him. Alright. Uh, I think this fight is pretty much over. Stress attack and moves. Cool. I don't get paid enough. Tell me about it. Really, we didn't kill anybody with that. Um, no debuffs. You've got a buff. Increased damage dealt. Let's try and get rid of you. Awesome. Murderer. Nice. No, two damage. Um, I mean, got him. Nice. A sad display of the mortal kind. Looks good. Um, yeah, looks good. Uh, construct a building in the graveyard. Great, 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 great. C. Graveyard. Uh, after chaining freedom. Uh, Aranus turned his prison into a base of operations. Constructing new buildings demands a sacrifice of minions. With architect souls. Buildings need to be staffed by minions. Okay, oops, I didn't mean to click on whatever I clicked on. Each minion exploring, blah, blah, blah. Uh, finds a random part, okay. Well, there's a pumpkin. There's pumpkin. Um, there's pumpkin. Pumpkin. Yeah. I don't really know what any of these do, so. Um, building requires 20 and I have 50. Find, finds parts. Minion restores mana. <coughs> Let's go left to right here. Obelisk. 
Every minion exo generates souls, the architect, which is probably exactly what I want. Plays after victory, except quest battles. I mean, yeah, that's... I want to build everything, so yes, the owl is great. Library, each minion uh, gives Iratus 35 experience. That's pretty good, too. I could also build that if I wanted. The lake, peering into the muddy water, each minion has 20% chance to discover the random item, the random item in the Lake of the Dead. Okay. Um, Boat of Wrath. 12 wrath at the beginning of battle. Interesting. Chamber. Oh, I, I guess. Oh, I received an award. Nice. Reward. Cool. That looks pretty cool. Can I... How do I change this? Upgrades. Abilities. Information. Yeah, I don't really... Oops. Switch skin. Oh, cool. Ah, we'll use it. Looks good. And I haven't been changing their names, but... That's okay. Um, 35 skeletons, to, or 35 pumpkins to find, huh? Uh, where was I? C for graveyard. Uh, const yeah, okay, I got that. Um, excavation. Finds a random part. Restores mana. Mortuary. Restores vigor. Uh, that's kind of vague. Training at the arena, arena minions gain experience. So these are all kind of pretty okay to to get going. I think we still want to start with the obelisk, though, right? I didn't sacrifice that minion, did I? I did. Many ancient monuments were built for exactly. Uh, every minion next to it generates souls. Okay. Well, I could create um, create something basic. Yeah. Create this dude, and then um, just so uninspired. Drop you in here, I guess. Oops. Not how that works. I got a mummy. Looks cool forget what you are um okay yeah so that's cool oh we've got we can do something else too um so I could create I could create another minion yeah let me think about this um uh what's the second one I want to make Gives a Rattus experience. Sounds pretty good. I could create another Death Knight and do that. I could do that. Uh, P for creation. Uh, Death Knight... Actually, doesn't matter. I don't really know. I don't know how valuable these resources are, so let's just do this. And... Graveyard. And the library. And skadoosh. That's done. And we'll put somebody in there. I guess I kind of did that. Took the long way to do that. And do that. This. Bone golem. It's a vampire, I think. Let's see. A lich. Okay. Gives Iratus more experience. That sounds pretty good. Uh, we've only got... 10 souls here. How, how do I unlock? Wait, is it just this? No. How do I unlock the second slot then? Oh, I need to build it again. Interesting. Well, I've got plenty of building stuffs going on, so that's pretty nice. And we could do dungeon. Oh, contains that stuff, level stuff. Cool. Um, I could level. Wait, what do I do? Aratus or all your minions gain four experience. Let's let's get Aratus up here. Aratus is a more, a much more permanent, uh, buff I'd say, because my minions can die and Aratus cannot. Um. 
Still don't have any artifacts. Alchemy. Transmission. Transformation of one type into another. Distillation. Increasing quality of parts. Uh, crafting items from available parts. Extraction. Calcination. Expending parts to gain mana. Okay. So I can basically reroll parts to create a different part. And this is set to armor creates... Oh, this is... Wait, distillation is what who? Oh, I have a talent here. This concludes the tutorial. You can continue in this current game on Cakewalk or restart the game on a more pain difficulty. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm kind of into this game already, so it's difficult to say.